Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Franklin has type O blood and has child with Gloria who has type A blood. Gloria's mother has uh, type A blood and her father had type B. What is the probability that Franklin and Gloria's first child will have type A blood? What is the probability that the third child will have type O blood? And uh, as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, let's analyze this problem. We have Franklin with blood group O and we have a Gloria with blood type A. So, Franklin here and a Gloria. So this is Franklin and G stand for the Gloria. And what we know that Franklin has blood type O, so and uh, Gloria has blood type A. And we have to find probability for the children unspecified sex, sex doesn't matter in this type of problems, uh, to belong to the certain blood types. But what we also know, we know that uh, Gloria's mother had blood type A, so Gloria had uh, parents, mother and father. And her mother's uh, blood type was A, and her father had blood type B. What does it tell us about genotype of the Gloria? Take a look. For example, her mother can be of the genotype AA, or can be of the AO. And her father can be also of the genotype B. B O B O. We know that from the mother side she got uh, A allele. So her mother can be any of this genotype. Uh, if her mother uh, genotype AA, she can get A allele. If her mother genotype AO, she also, Gloria, can get A allele from her mother. But, as you see, she didn't got a B allele from her father's side, otherwise her uh, blood group would be AB. That means that uh, the only way uh, that she belonged to the blood group A, because she got from her father's side allele O. So, we know that a genotype of her father was B O and not B, B. So we know now for sure that the genotype of the Gloria is A, O. She got uh, A allele from the mother side and O allele from her father side. So her genotype is A, O and phenotype blood group A. And as for the Franklin, because he belonged to the blood group O, the only one genotype that uh, makes this blood group would be genotype O, O. So now we know both genotypes of the Gloria and Franklin. And we can predict uh, genotypes and phenotypes of their children. For example, uh, so his genotype of the Franklin here on the top and here on the side of the Gloria. So, A, O. And if we build simple Punnett square, we can predict what variants of the blood groups they may have in their children. So, A, O here, A, O here, O, O, and O, O. And as you see, 50% of their children would belong to the blood group a. 
and another 50% would belong to the blood group O. Only these two blood groups are possible with um, probability of the child, regardless of the sex, to belong to the blood group A as 50% and probability for the child to belong to the blood group O also 50%. So, uh, what is our question? Um, uh, here, what is the probability that Franklin's and Gloria's first child will have blood type A? And probability is 50%. This is the answer. And next answer, what is the probability that the third child would have blood type O? And as you see, probability is 50%. But you may also ask uh, what, um, for example, third child and first child have uh, to do with our calculations. And actually, it doesn't uh, affect our calculations. Every time they would conceive a child, they would have these probabilities to have 50% uh, child with blood group A and 50% with uh, blood group O. So take a look. Uh, this is Franklin. So Franklin would produce a sperm. This is a sperm. Uh, and it only can be of one type. Uh, each would have uh, uh, allele O. And as for the Gloria, she is here on the side. She would produce Excel and she can produce it uh, of the two variants with allele A and O. And hence, uh, these variants of the uh, deployed zygote, which would uh, develop into the uh, fetus and child. So, as you see, uh, this is probabilities that this family may have uh, blood group in their children. So calculations are pretty easy. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.